Hello and welcome to the Comlex Instant Review. Let's review sinus sick syndrome or sick sinus syndrome. Now the essentials for diagnosis is mainly looking at the elderly population having recurrent supraventricular arrhythmias and bradyarrhythmias frequently seen in patients with uh, atrial fibrillation. Patients are usually asymptomatic and um, often um, it's caused by some kind of a drug therapy. So the general considerations for the board exam you want to understand is that the diagnosis is implied uh, to patients with sinus arrest, any kind of a sinoatrial exit block, um, or a persistent sinus bradycardia. So these three rhythms are basically um, exacerbated by some kind of a drug like digitalis or calcium channel blockers, beta blockers, antiarrhythmetics, and agents that may be responsible should be withdrawn immediately. Also, another presentation is usually patients with recurrent supraventricular tachycardias, which include paroxysmal reentry tachycardias, atrial flutters, and atrial fibrillations. These are all associated with um, sinus sick syndrome. And the tachybrady syndrome, uh, which is brady arrhythmias, uh, is also one of the considerations. And uh, that you can find on your EKG, where uh, you will have a uh, variation between bradycardia and tachycardia. Um, understand that sinus sick syndrome occurs mainly in the elderly patients and there's an association with sarcoid, amyloid, Chagas disease and cardiomyopathies. As we mentioned, uh, even though patients are asymptomatic, keep um, you know aware of signs of syncope, dizziness, confusion, etc. And the treatment is usually regular pacing, so patients need permanent pacing. A dual chamber pacing is usually preferred uh, because the ventricular pacing is associated with a higher incidence of subsequent atrial fibrillation and subsequent AV block which occurs um, at a low rate in these patients. So the um, some patients who get this can develop pacemaker syndrome which can result in the loss of AV synchrony. And so the treatment of associated tachycardias um, tachyarrhythmias mainly is often difficult without first uh, setting up a pacing schedule and they should be referred to a electrophysiologist if needed. So on the board exam to summarize uh, make sure you remember that it's often caused by several of the uh, arrhythmias and that includes the any kind of a uh, sinus arrest or a sinus AV exit block or um, other arrhythmias caused by medications like digitalis, calcium channel blockers, beta blockers, and um, Brady arrhythmias causing tachybrady syndromes. Um, all these are key findings. Patients are usually asymptomatic, uh, but there's association with sarcoid, amyloid, Chagas disease, and cardiomyopathies. And the treatment is permanent pacing, usually dual chamber pacing on the board exam. Thank you for listening to the Comlex Instant Review Podcast and please visit comlexflashcars.com for daily updates on USMLE and Comlex board prep as well as medical school advice. Good luck in your preparation.